Welcome back. You're watching Rise and Shine. It's a Saturday morning, and today we've got an entertainer in the studio. It's great to have Larry T. Hill. <laughs> Good morning to you, Larry. Good morning. He is a musician, singer, and a live vocal looping artist. Now, you've got to speak about that. Okay, well, maybe I'll start with examples, right? Mm -hmm. So, I, I, I use the instrument that I'm carrying around, uh, my voice, and I run it into this little box here uh, using, using a microphone. So, we've got uh, some live looping happening. Live looping happening. And live we've got another channel looping over here happening. Live looping happening and live got another channel looping over here happening live looping happening and live got another channel looping over here happening live looping happening and live got another channel over here happening and 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 that's a little little taste <laughs> <laughs> um well you know i i am in a little bit of a fix as to whether to call him larry whether to call him hill or whether to call him t hill or <laughs> you can call me that Call you T-Dog or what? <laughs> <laughs> Make it up on the fly. Larry's fun. <laughs> so um, Larry, Larry's going Larry's gonna to do some magic with his little box over there and the instrument he carries around, as he said. So um, we, we will have all that going on later on on the show. But, but first, let's just ask Larry, how are you doing this morning? <laughs> are you a morning person? You know what? I have been. I have been. I've been an aspiring yoga student, so I've... I've I feel like I'm a reconditioned night owl. And, uh, a reconditioned night <laughs> owl. Reconditioned night owl, yeah. yeah. And, and, and I'm doing okay, despite a slightly late night. I got up and, and came in for this. Brilliant. Okay. So Larry, um, what made you come back to Sri Lanka? Let's talk about you know, where you were, okay. where you came back to, right. and what you're doing right now. Well, I grew, I grew up in Australia to Sri Lankan parents. And for a long time, I've had a, a yearning to, to be back here. And there's two main things that I was seeking. One is studying, studying yoga and finding any yoga tradition that might exist here. And also, uh, I wanted to look into the, the, the classical vocal style, so the, uh, I guess the oriental, oriental vocal style, and learn singular and explore my identity and, and culture. And, and I love coconuts and Sri Lankan food. And so no wonder you're here <laughs> for the coconuts. I'm pretty weather. sure you could have done the coconuts over there. And if you went to <laughs> Melbourne, you'd have felt <laughs> right at home in Sri Lanka. Exactly right. <laughs> but it's cold. It's cold over there. So I, I did spend a, a, a bunch of my time in northern Australia where we do have coconuts. Not as many. But, um, but yeah, there, there were several things calling me back here. So eventually I listened. And okay, it looks like back. we're here to talk about coconuts. <laughs> <laughs> so, Larry, yeah. <laughs> so, tell us a little bit about the musical background in your family. Ah, so my my mom is a singing teacher and a piano teacher, but you know when when your mom does does that, you don't really want to do that. So I had to <laughs> go run around and be a dancer and a drummer and and all this kind of thing. But now I kind of regret. Some of those kind of in your blood already. It's, it's, it's in my blood, yeah. Right. It's in my, some of those things seeped in, like having having uh, having music lessons in the next room to your upbringing, to your your bedroom. It just sort of seeps in a little bit. Um, but I was a drummer, drummer for most of my life. So this is a relatively fresh journey. Okay, so yeah. you didn't decide on playing the piano at all. No. Although your mom was playing it. No, it wasn't for me. Obviously, you can't carry it along, just exactly, like you do. Exactly, exactly. It's not, it's not this big, I can't carry it around. It's not this big? No. Or okay. this, this small, rather. <laughs> <laughs> um, Larry? Yeah? Why do you pick up the tiny box after the drum set? Well, I had... I grew, I grew up in Sydney, and, and you don't often think to go to the, the various other smaller cities in your, in your country when you grow up in the biggest one, but I eventually got out of that mindset and, and went uh, s slow traveling like a few months at a time in different cities around Australia and I just had my, initially I had my touring bicycle and just a few possessions and then, then I let go of that and started hitchhiking and this whole time I didn't have, my, didn't have my drum kit, didn't have my instruments or my bandmates and I was feeling a bit lonely and like I wanted to make some music so I started playing around with a little looping app on an iPod touch and, and just like, oh what's this about? And, kind of slowly started teaching myself some of those things and then I invested in this little pedal here and started awkwardly performing and then, then eventually I became a bit less awkward. Yeah. Um, is, it, is, it, is it something you did as an alternative for your drums? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So uh, 
I often tell people that I, I'm not really a beatboxer, but I'm a vocal percussionist. I, I, I lost my drum somewhere, and now I'm just trying to make those sounds again. So. Let's okay. have some vocal percussioning happening here in a bit. Let's have, all right. All right? Yeah. You want to start things off? Sure, sure. Uh, since I'm from Australia, I might play one of my uh, Australian tunes from down that way. And today the Transport Workers Union reminding us once again that without trucks Australia stops. The Pedestrian Council pleads that with trucks we're at a loss of life, of local goods and such. And furthermore, one touring cyclist from central Victoria exclaims that a... Riding the highway, 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 riding the highway. Riding the highway ain't really my way, but it's often the flattest terrain. The simplest navigation and the easiest to explain. Don't go the back road, son. There's big hills and won't be much fun. If I was you, I'd take the highway. It's big wide and flat with no delays. When I was a lad, I used to ride me bike too, but uh, mate, uh, <laughs> these days, <laughs> ain't so fit like you. Watch out for the locals, though. Locals know the way locals go. And as in a car or maybe you, they don't feel terrain. It's just cute. Puzzled at me when I'm climbing those hills. I gotta tell you. Doing this of my own free will, and the whole time I'm out there, I'm searching for that that little thing. It's it's way off in the distance. It's that quiet thing over here, that quiet back road. I'll be there in a second. You told me Friday I'd be on it. I reckon the quiet back road. I'll be there in a second. You told me Friday I'd be on it. I reckon the quiet back road. I'll be there in a second. You told me Friday I'd be on it. I reckon. The quiet back road will be there in a second. You told me, you told Friday, me Friday. There's really no way it would be a riding the highway. Riding the highway. Riding the highway. Riding the highway. Oh, I gotta tell you, riding the highway. It's, it's not my way. It's like it's uh, it's uh, riding the highway. Ain't really my way. Riding the highway. Riding the highway. Ain't really my way. Riding the highway. Riding the highway. Ain't really my way. Riding the highway. Riding the highway. Ain't really my way. Riding. It's all I've got today. You see. On this deadly treadly, I'm rolling sweet. There's no motors here, it's just my feet. So there you are, a peasant of the road, just a little higher than a cane toad. It's like a little frog down the street. But, and they're all doing over 100 k And I'm doing 10, 11, 12, 13. And the whole time I'm searching. The quiet back road, I'll be there in a second. You told me Friday I'd be on it, I reckon. The quiet back road, I'll be there in a second. You told me Friday I'd be on it. There's really just no way it would be a riding the highway. Riding the highway. Riding the highway. It's, uh, I gotta tell you, again, it's, it's, it's really, it's, it's not my way, you see. It's like riding the highway, ain't really my way. Riding the highway. Sometimes it's all I've got. Riding the highway, ain't really my way. Riding the highway. That's all I've got today. Riding the highway, ain't really my way. Riding the highway. That's all I've got today. Riding the highway, ain't really my way. Riding the highway. That's all I've got today. Riding the highway, ain't really my way. Riding the highway. That's all I've got today. Quiet back road, I'll be there in a second. You told me Friday I'd be on it, I reckon. A quiet back road. There's one other thing in a second. You told me Friday I'd be on it, I reckon. Without trucks, the stress stops. But with trucks, we're at a loss of life, of local goods and stuff. The stress stops. But with trucks, you gotta move the stuff somehow. Of local goods, without trucks, the stress stops. But with trucks, you gotta move the stuff somehow. Of local goods and stuff, the stress stops. But with trucks, you gotta move the stuff somehow. Of local goods, without trucks, the stress Somehow. I think that gives a round of applause. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Absolutely brilliant. How do you learn to do that, man? Uh, just playing. 
playing around. You know, we <laughs> play music, so uh, particularly with looping, uh, when you, it just comes right back at you. So if, if you make a weird sound, it's like, oh, what's that? But if you make a good one, you remember it, and you, you keep trying to make it. So, so uh, yeah, like I was saying, initially I was uh, on a touring bicycle around Australia, so uh, that inspired me to write those tunes having big trucks past me and so on. So, <laughs> so that was that was an original from you? Oh, yeah, most of my tunes are original, yeah, so that's definitely an original. Oh, right. okay. I guess inspired by the public broadcaster in Australia, ABC, with the, that first announcement there. I do, I do like my, my Radio National. You did tell that first it was weird and then you became less weirder. <laughs> so you <laughs> took it in a professional way, is it? I think did you just call him a creep? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. Come on, a that's A professional creep, come on, oh, professional. <laughs> um, no, I think, I think it was because um, I had no, no concept of solo performance. Uh, so yeah, it was awkward initially. But, but sometimes you just use that awkwardness and, and go with it. So I think people can relate relate to being <laughs> awkward. Yeah. Okay. So Larry, about how many layers can you uh, put on at the same time? Uh, I've got four layers here. One, two, three, four. And on top of them, I can uh, I can stack so I can overdub. So uh, this this whole this whole setup is basically replicating something that we used to only be able to do in the studio a long time ago um, with the delay pedals and and overdubbing. So bringing that kind of one-man band show to the... So Larry, you, um, are, you, are you planning on taking it a little bigger here in Sri Lanka? Well, it's inter interesting you mentioned that because I'm, I'm, I'm here, here to move, move, fo move forward with voice and, and study some, study some you know, deeply traditional, traditional vocals and, and, and learn how to speak and sing in Sinhala and, and maybe Hindi and some other, other languages of the world. What region. have you done so far with the Sinhala? Oh, ah, dikak pulu an, ega hari. You know, we need to we need to get Larry to do what he did in singing. Oh, oh, uh, give give me some time. Yeah, like, like, not immediately. Uh, not immediately. <laughs> <laughs> Probably we can have him on the show again not when he learns his singing as well. That would yeah. be interesting. <laughs> right now, it's not so good. Not not quite at singing. I can maybe sing like a like a nursery rhyme or something if I. You should try looping that. a nursery rhyme in singing. Have that you ever tried that? Not yet. No, it's on my <laughs> list. Yeah. Yeah, I'm learn, learning a lot at the moment, so yeah, okay. taking, taking it all in slowly, slowly. So you did mention that most of the songs are original. Yeah, 95% so or more. I, I, I don't tend to do covers. Yeah. Okay, so does it generally change, the lyrics change according to the performance mm -hmm. and uh, situation? In terms of like each situation? Mm -hmm. uh, usually it's, it's somewhat composed and, and I'll just mess around with little themes here and um, <laughs> I'm saying I'm not used to performing sitting down, <laughs> so I'm usually like jumping around the place and and uh, and playing with the theatrics. I noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> That's it was right. quite difficult. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Larry, yeah, did you did you come down with some croc fever or something like that? Ah, uh, yeah. Did I? I think we've loaded up a clip for that, maybe. Yeah. Or, or would you prefer? Shall we? Shall we take a look at that? Yeah. Let's 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 take a look let's at take that. A look that at one's it. a bit fun. <laughs> Welcome to Darwin. At the northern edge of Australia, the southern edge of Asia. In a land where, for 100 million years, time has stood still for the fearsome saltwater crocodile. A place where crocodiles and crocodile hunters have come together and have lived a very special human adventure. Croc fever, croc danger, can we get in? Better check with the rangers, it's safe to swim. The build-up is here, let the wet be 
Drinking or two when the chicks uh, lose a limb Crock fever, crock danger Can we get in? Better check with the ranger Is it safe to swim? The build-up is here Let the wet begin or two when the chicks uh, lose a limb Crock fever, crock danger Can we get in? Better check with the ranger Is it safe to swim? The build-up is here Let the wet begin or two when the chicks uh, lose a limb Crock fever, crock danger Can we get in? Better check with the ranger Is it safe to swim? The build-up is here Let the wet begin or two when the chicks uh, lose a limb Crock fever, crock danger Can we get in? Gotta check the range, is it safe to swim? The build up is here, the wet begin, I do it, I change it, lose a limb. Crock fever, crock danger, can we get in? Gotta check with the range, is it safe to swim? The build up is here, the wet begin, I do it, I change it, lose a limb. Crock fever, crock danger, can we get in? Gotta check with the range, is it safe to swim? The build up is here, the wet begin, I do it, I change it, lose a limb. Crock fever, danger. So steamy and hot, gonna explode or drop. My brain melts out one ear and the other one's blocked. Got a case of swimmer's ears, so I can't quite hear you. It's not just the Crocs, it's the Stinger season too. So carry some vinegar, cause peeing on your leg won't do anything. It's what the paramedics say. You don't wanna wait for tomorrow, I wanna swim today. It's really hot, I wanna swim today. Yeah. Croc. Um, it's really hot, you said you were gonna take me for a swim yesterday. Crock fever, crock danger, can we get in? Better check with the ranger, is it safe to swim? The build up is here, jump the wet begin. I do anything shit except lose a limb. Crock fever, crock danger, can we get in? Better check with the ranger, is it safe to swim? The build up is here, jump the wet begin. I do anything shit except lose a limb. Crock fever, danger. If I could escape this heat for even a second, the temp is tested as huge storms beckon. The lightning teases, stormy breezes, get a little respite for tropo diseases. I yearn for the opportunity to swim, as long as the gamble is not life and limb. Yes, I yearn for opportunities to swim, as long as the gamble is not life and limb. Cross. As long as the gamble is not life and limb, yo. Crock fever, crock danger, can we get in? Better check with the ranger, is it safe to swim? The build up is here, jump the wet begin. I'll do anything shit except lose a limb. Crock fever, crock danger, can we get in? Better check with the ranger, is it safe to swim? The build up is here, jump the wet begin. I'll do anything shit except lose a limb. Crock fever, danger. At the moment we're in Darwin, we're just close to here is a place named Casuarina. And uh, in Casuarina they change beats. And uh, some certain little creatures that ride around on bicycles. This goes out to them. Yeah, it was one more boy in Casuarina. Saw a little croc. Hang on. Did you meet her? Hell yeah, took her for a five course dinner. Shot her my wraps and that and then I let it simmer. I heard she was the steak eating competition winner, but how are the table manners on that fine evening? Yeah, it was rough as guts, but looks can be deceiving. Sure enough, she can handle a knife and fork. Don't take much to get a room like that heaving. Well, clearly you've built up quite a rapport. Crock fever, crock danger, can we get in? Better check with the ranger, is it safe to swim? The build up is here, jump the wet begin. I do it, I chill, except lose a limb. Crock fever, crock danger, can we get in? Better check with the ranger, is it safe to swim? The build up is here, jump the wet begin. I do it, I chill, except lose a limb. Crock fever, crock danger. Ovin would have been so proud. <laughs> I think he might have, yeah. <laughs> From the land down under. Um, well, Larry, let's talk a little bit about uh, what you do with kids as well. Right, right. So I've been doing uh, some of the some of my looping play shops, uh, which I tend to run uh, in in libraries or schools, that sort of thing. Because, uh, like I mentioned, the way I started was on a little smart device. So. Uh, these these hardware pedals they're a bit they're a bit hard to work with but 
when you have when you've got uh, apps and, and tangible surfaces like that to work with it it makes it makes it really fun so I've been doing some of these uh, looping workshops with the British school and also with the music matters uh, music school in in Barala. so that's quite unexpected I didn't know I'd been a be able to just shift my Australian method straight a straight across okay, into so Columbia. are you planning on having an institute as such <laughs> no not as such not as such. an institute of loopers, loopers. <laughs> institute of loopers. <laughs> that sounded wrong, wrong for some reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, I hope there'll be there's people that will be perhaps using those devices for not just not just crazy fun games, but but to there's something have a innovative, creative output. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. something inno innovative. Okay, sure. what are we looking at for the future, Larry? Anything uh, coming up? Any concerts as such? Uh, yes, I'm performing at the Music Matters Festival in in August. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a I've got a gig on the sixth. It's the Grunge and Hip Hop Night at Charcoal Cafe, and then uh, then I'll be I'll be helping out during the day on the main concert on the on the ninth at um, at VD Park uh, Amphitheatre. Okay. Yeah. Inner is quite busy. Yeah, because um, I just I just got a story. <laughs> He's got a looping app going on. I, I got a loop. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm just searching for my own looping app. I'm like, how 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 to do this? I need to learn how to do this. Um, we we just got some uh, story coming in hmm. from uh, the South Asian Championship. So until you guys talk, I'm just gonna find it like real fast. All right. right so sure. we we did speak about the concert which is coming up. So yes. if you could just mention. Uh, uh, how people could participate in it and how they could come and see it. Have a look at it. Uh, so Music Matters Festival, Sri Lanka. You can you can look it up, look it up and download the program. Uh, this performance is on the sixth at the Charcoal Cafe in Mount Lavinia, and there's there's four acts playing. The rest are the rest are local, and uh, the main concert's on the ninth. And we're they're bringing out people from Australia, New Zealand, the States. Oh, all amazing. Over, so, yeah. It's, it's going to be an entertaining evening. Yeah, that, well, that will be uh, yeah, right from the afternoon through to the night. So. Oh, so, that's quite right. a stretch, I must say. Yeah. Yeah. We have good news. Okay, so amazing. So Sri Lanka just won a silver medal. And uh, so there's Paris in the weightlifting category of 62 kgs. Congratulations. Silver medal for Sri Lanka. Brilliant. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. That's just good news. <laughs> Good job. Well done. Amazing. So we've come to the close of the program too. So yeah. looking forward to more Sinhalese tracks. And obviously you're here for another purpose too. So you said that you want to learn some Oriental stuff. Yeah. And yeah. you're looking forward to doing some Oriental stuff Absolutely, too. Absolutely, yeah. And, okay. and blending where I'm at currently with, with some of that music. So. Okay, amazing. So any plans of featuring any Sri Lankan artists and doing some music? Yeah, there's a few people I'm talking with that, okay. um, that we might might do some collaboration with. One fellow is Husni, another guy is Omi, Omi Ranasing. So. Okay, quite a few. So it's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting ride. Yeah. We hope to see you back in the studio with sure. something absolutely new. Sure, sure. <laughs> and uh, you know, this has been interesting for me. I'm gonna find my own little app, and I'm gonna try this not tonight. It's gonna be nerve wracking. No, I'm gonna, not gonna try it tonight. It's a Saturday. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, start on a Tuesday. <laughs> we start on Tuesday or something like that. Um, so, Larry, we're gonna thank you right now because we're gonna wind up with you on the on on your pedals and doing your thing. So thank you very much. Been an absolute pleasure to have you. We hope to have you back Quite. very, very, very soon. Thank you. Thank you. All right, Larry. time to wind things up with Larry T. Hill in the studio this morning. I stole cigarettes. Yes, I stole cigarettes. Yes, I stole cigarettes. Yes, I stole cigarettes. Yes. Fight in the saloon, fight in the saloon The clock had not struck noon Smokers popped up, made a scene For some of that nicotine But the location they couldn't get Cause I stole their cigarettes Yes, I stole cigarettes Yes, I stole cigarettes Yes, I stole cigarettes Yes, I stole cigarettes Oh yes, I did This vessel revels in the night breeze, a short standoff from the high seas. The Bay of Bengal hosts the commotion true. Veggies don't grow in the ocean with you, I've got a bone to poke. Cause neither do 
rum and smokes. Pastos, cigarettes, yes, 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 pastos, cigarettes, tick, 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 Some sly fishermen show at sunrise, slipping alongside, swapping supplies, first miles and miles, the contact social, swap the smokes for fresh food local, I feel this may just lift the mood. Mitzi rendezvous in the big deep blue, Mitzi rendezvous in the big deep blue, Mitzi rendezvous. Come in, this is Royal Port Control, are you there, Blue Star? Blue Star, Blue Star, going on, going far. What a way to Sri Lanka, Blue Star, Blue Star, going on, going far. What a way to Sri Lanka, Blue Star, Blue Star, going on, going far. What a way to Sri Lanka, Blue Star, Blue Star, going on, going far. What a way to Sri Lanka, Blue Star, Blue Star, going on, going far. What a way to Sri Lanka, Blue Star, Blue Star, going on, going far. What a way to Sri Lanka, yes, Blue Star, Blue Star, going on, going far. All the way to Sri Lanka, Blue Star, Blue Star, going on, going far. All the way to Sri Lanka. <laughs>